Welcome to another Biggs Mobile Detailing video. My name is Isaiah and today we're going to go over how to treat the carpet and the cloth on the interior of the vehicle. So we're going to start by getting the proper equipment. It's going to include your vacuum and your steam cleaner. Now that your vacuum is plugged in, you're ready to get started. Similar to washing, you want to find a method that works for you every time. For me, I like to start on the passenger side. Start with the floors, go up, get the cracks in between, vacuum the seat really quick, then on my way out, I get these areas on the door and then go to the next door. When I'm doing the front, I scoot the seat back. When I go to the back seat, I scoot this seat forward. That way I know I'm getting every single spot. That works best for me, but you'll need to find what works for you if this doesn't feel comfortable or natural when you're detailing. So I'll go ahead and get started. Now that's how you clean your first seat. I'll do that on the same, in the same way all the way around the car until I get to that side. And then I'll move on to the steaming. Now one thing you want to remember, once you have about 15 to 20 minutes left in your vacuuming, you want to heat up the steamer. That way, once you're ready to start steaming, the vacuuming's done, your steamer is ready to go and you don't have to wait that 15 or 20 minutes later. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start heating up the steamer and then I'll show you how to do that. First step when you're heating up your steamer, make sure that it's not already hot. If for any reason it's been plugged in already, maybe you just did another detail and it's still hot from the last steaming, you're gonna to wanna to wear glasses, gloves, face mask, make sure that hot steam doesn't really hit you. I know that this one hasn't been used in the past couple days, so it's not hot. I'm gonna go ahead. Open up the cap and pour out any old water that was in there. In general, there should not be much water because the last person who used it should have emptied it out. Now we've gotten the water out, we need to put new water inside. Take your pressure washer, it should be turned off at this point. And just go ahead, take the actual pressurizing part off. Use this and just fill it up. Now you may need to turn the hose back on for this, if that's the case. Go ahead. Just turn it on a little bit, just enough to fill this up.
You don't need too much water, especially if the car is pretty clean. Just enough so you don't have to keep refilling it. That should be enough. Put the cap back on. Plug the steamer into the wall or an extension cord. We happen to have our extension cord right here. In. There's an on switch right here, and you'll see this gauge. You want to turn it towards the plus side and wait for this gauge to be in the green area. As long as it's in the green, that means it's ready. I like to wait for it to get towards the top of the green because as you use the steam, it's going to go down and down and down. So wait till it gets about the middle or the top, then you can start using it. That's how you heat up your steamer. Now that your steamer is hot, you'll be able to start steaming the vehicle. You'll see here that the steamer's needle is in the green. It's getting closer to the yellow area, but it's not at the very bottom anymore. One thing you'll want to do before you start on the vehicle is let out the air bubbles. Let out, you know, get it so it's really going well. So I like to clean this off before I start steaming. Make sure there's nothing Nothing too big in here from the last job that you did. And once you get all the big stuff out, give it a good little wipe down. Let the steam and the air bubbles out. Now it's going good. So I can go ahead and get started. This car is pretty clean. I don't need to worry too much about stains or anything like that. I just want to get it sanitary and steam clean all the germs out of here. So I'm going to take it like this. I don't want to get too much water in there and since I don't need to get out a lot of stains I'm actually going to turn this down towards the minus sign so it's using less water every time that I spray it. Now if I had heavier stains I might want to turn it towards the plus sign but this car is pretty clean I just need the, I need the temperature and I need to sanitize it. And that's exactly how you do it. You're gonna do that all the way around the car and look for any stains. If you do have stains, you're gonna use chemicals like Bright Spot or C Spot Go or even just some general purpose degreaser. Spray it on the stains and then go over it with the steamer. You should have a document if you're joining the team that'll explain exactly how to get rid of stains. So don't worry too much about that at this point. When you're steam cleaning the interior, one thing you want to remember is that cars with cloth seats will also get steam cleaned. Leather seats, you're going to wipe those down later, but cloth seats need steam cleaning just like the carpets do. You'll just put the steamer on there, clean them off, and treat them just like the carpets. Now once you're done with your steam cleaning, you're going to want to put this in an area that's away from everything else. The one thing you'll want to do is empty out all of the water. If you don't empty out the water, it's going to build up moss and mold on the inside of the steam cleaner and then you're not going to be able to use it in the future. One thing about this is that it's really hot right now since I just used it. You want to let it cool down, flip the switch from on to off so that it starts cooling down and then once this needle is no longer in the green area, you know that it's safe to open up the lid and begin dumping the water out.